Welcome to the Interaction Client Did You Know video series by CPI. Hi, this is Ruth Lockery. Welcome to the final installment of our Interaction Client Did You Know video series. Today we're going to take a look at a few advanced features for you power users of the Interaction Client. There are three things we want to show you today. The first are rules, then we're going to talk about call coverage, and finally we'll show you monitored appearances. Let's start with rules. Are you familiar with rules in Microsoft Outlook? You can set up parameters to have Outlook deal with your email without you ever having to touch it. You can send an email directly to a folder, for example. Well, rules in your client function very much the same way. You can set up rules to have your client control handling a call without you ever touching it. Let me show you how this would work. Let's say one of my premier clients always calls me from her cell phone. I want her call to receive a preferred level of service, so I'm going to build a rule for her. From your client, go to Options and Rules, and the Rules Wizard will pop up. Click New to start creating a new rule. In this case, we're going to create a rule for an event, the event of her call coming into my client. The prompts you'll see are very intuitive. You just click your way through the wizard. Here we go. When I receive a call, click Next, from a specific phone number. Once we've selected that, do you see the field where you enter the client's cell phone? Click there, type in the phone number. Next, I want the call to alert me even if I have my client set to some sort of do not disturb status. So I always pick up that call and speak to that customer. Click Next again. The final step in your rule is to define any exceptions. I'm not going to select any exceptions because I always want to speak to this customer. So I'm going to click Finish. Don't forget to click Apply. And there you go, your rule is built. This is really a powerful feature. Play around with it a bit. I think you'll like what it can do for you. The second advanced feature we want to show you in your client today is how to set up call coverage. Call coverage allows another user to answer your calls. If an executive wanted an administrative assistant to answer calls for her, she would set it up here. Again, here's how to do it. From your Options Configuration menu, click Call Coverage. Choose the options defining when you want the administrative assistant to answer your phone. Let me show you one. Let's say I'm on the phone, and when I'm on the phone, I want my external calls answered by my administrative assistant. I'll need to enter the internal extension for my administrative assistant. Before the setup is complete, I need to decide where I want those voicemails to go. If I want the voicemail to come back to my box for handling, I won't need to change anything. Often, though, an executive will have their assistant handle voicemails for them. I could set this so the assistant would receive the messages. Be sure to click Apply when you're finished, and then click OK, and you're done. Your call coverage is created. Did you know there is a feature in your client that would allow you to see calls coming to another user? It's called Monitored Appearances, and it's the third advanced feature we want to cover today. As an example, an administrative assistant handling calls for one or more executives may want to add a monitored appearance in order to see what's going on with each executive's calls. To set this up, go to Options, Configuration, and click Monitored Appearances. Click Add to create a new entry. Select the person whose calls you want to see and or answer. Take a moment now to look at the options for the monitored appearance. Here you control how the calls will notify you in your client. Do you want your client to pop when your boss's phone rings? Do you want your telephone to ring when the boss's phone rings? You have the same flexibility for notifications here that you have for your own calls. Click away until you get the settings just right for you. Click OK to save your changes and close the dialog. Notice now in your client that you have a tab for your calls and a tab for your boss's calls. Would you like to see a shortcut for creating monitored appearances? Watch this. From your client, find the person's name in your company directory. 
left click on their name and drag it into your My Interactions tab in your client. Voila! The monitored appearance is created. As always, be aware that permissions for using these features are controlled by your system administrator. Check with them if you need help gaining access to any of these features. So there you go, a brief lesson on advanced features. Remember, the online help is a great resource for more information. We hope you've enjoyed our Interaction Client Did You Know video series. If you have questions or would like more information, be sure to give us a call. Using your client, of course. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. You can find more information and comment on this video at blog.comprod.com.